Right, so now we are about to fix our color and then this is our color base, our color for rather. Then I imagine the both piece, the one gummed and the ungummed one, the right size mirroring each other. Then fix my threads and then. Right, so now I'm teaching the sides from the one uh, on gummed one will be on top. So I'm stitching from there, then stitch from very close to the color um, color gum, stitch all through from there. Then, as you can see how it's going, you we'll stitch all through from there, stitch from the from the base all through from there, and then go all through the up area where the fabric is left properly. Then stitch all through from there, stitch all through from there go all through that way all through that way and then to the tip of the color gum as well then pin your machine needle and turn it that way and then you stitch from there as well and then this is the part of the color fall then after this now you also cut your threads and then cut the excesses at the sides and as well cut the excesses at the up area as well of your collar put them off that way make sure you don't cut close to the line you have sewn cut half inch or quarter inch before the line then making sure that the excess left will not be much or give you issues to turn off the collar cut there as well and then make sure you cut it out in this form and then you fling the collar out in this form and then you try to bring out the edges properly with your scissors but be, but be careful so that you don't um, um, pull off the edge of your collar so take your time to do this as well so once the edges are properly tucked out then do the same thing on the other edge you also notch it out in that form and then tuck it out this way and then you push it out to come out properly be careful while doing this as well and then you are to top stitch but you have to top stitch your collar you can still iron it out before you top stitch but you can top stitch it directly there's no problem then top stitch using the machine foot to lap quarter inch at the edge of the collar and then stitch all through from there now give it a huge a huge stitching the same shape of curvy nature that your collar was cut return the same curving nature that way and then stitch it all through from there then be patient enough while doing this as well as you can see how this the threading is now don't mind the black thread because i had a stripe fabric that way so the black thread still forced into the colors appearing on the outfit right it's still part of the artwork then you stitch all through that way and make sure that this your stitching must be straight enough right it must be straight enough that way then stitch all through and when you get to the um, edge of that one as well you also go down make sure they are the same measurements and the same dimension and then stitch all through that way so let us now you can now lock the base now the reason is to make sure that the base the two-piece fabric becomes one so that you can trim up the excesses as you so desire so stitch it all through cut your threads in this form and then trim up the excesses now leaving exact of the measurement you wanted the one you used in cutting the color um, color gum and then cut it out all through in this form and then fold into two equal parts and then notch the center back the notching is very important as well and then you leave it and then bring the color um, base the one that has the color gum then bear in mind that the edge was folded then you have to stitch quarter inch at the base right the base stitch quarter inch all through that way and then make sure that your hands as well is straight enough
stitch all through that way stitch all through that way and then you go to this point and lock it up then cut your thread as well in this form and then this is what you are seeing cut your thread as well and then cut out excess the material inside the collar and then you are to correspond them the two notches now we now tally in this form and then you can as well notch that one to make sure you have the perfect um, 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 points to fix the both of them so just notch that one as well and once you have notched the, the three pieces now then correspond them make sure that the gummed one of the color is facing the gummed one of the color base right why the ungummed ones should be facing the ungummed panel then start from the point where the color gum ended and then stitch all through round from there stitch all through that point from there stitch all through that point from there and then making sure that your um, three pieces are equally held or evenly held then sew it and curve it to the edge how your color gun was curved as well then sew and curve in that direction and then end it up properly this is how you should end it this is how it came out then cut your thread as well and then repeat the same process on the other parts of the of the piece of the color as well cut a thread as well so start from there stitch and then sew all through that way making sure that the color um, the three piece is now being held evenly and make sure you're stitching at the edge where the color gum ended and then you also give it that curvy sewing all through from there Take your time to trace out where the color gun ended then stitch all through from there and then you are done fixing and um, sewing your color so now i will iron now cut out the thread as well so i'll iron now and then the next video you will see will be on how to fix this color on the shirt so you turn it out that way and then you have to iron properly and then the next video you will see now will be on how to fix the color on your shirt. Thank you for watching.